Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I am finally filming my completed pages of a September video, which is everybody's favourite video. It's my favourite video to film. They are my favourite videos to watch. Um, I did have two pages that I really just wanted to get finished yesterday so that I could include them in because I didn't want to carry them over into October. Completed pages, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's just get straight into it because that's what we're all here for. So first up is a book that was sent to me for free to try and I will put a review up on the channel. I've done a page in it and it was... Um, a hundred mandalas by Polly Jenkins. So they sent me a mandala book and an animal book. Um, so I've done a page in this and I will do a separate video, bit of a flip through if anybody wants to see. But this is the mandala that I did. Um, so I've just used Ohu Hu markers, brush markers um, and some Pentel Jewel metallics just on those little sort of crowns and, and love hearts around the outside and I have to say I don't think this type of colouring is for me um, I know lots and lots of people love them and I get them they're easy you don't really need to think about them but it, for me I don't think that's my type of colouring I, I do prefer quite a heavy detailed page that takes me days and days to be honest but i wanted to do it i said i would review the book i will um i might try some other i might just like that might be quite nice just in felt tips if i'm just sat on the couch but it, it doesn't kind of engage me the way a, an, a kirby page or a mythographic page would do but it's a beautiful book and there's some lovely mandalas in it i just don't think that it's for me personally um but yeah, so I did this one. It was quite nice. It didn't really take me long. It's not very neat. The pens have bled everywhere because I wasn't really paying attention. I was doing it while watching telly. Um, but yeah, so that one is in 100 Mandalas by Polly Jenkins. <clears throat> and I said that one was sent to me to review. Next up, we have Mythographic Odyssey. Um, if you've been watching my colouring chats, you will know that this is the page that I've been working on. It took me four videos <laughs> to do, plus time off camera to get it all finished. Um, I'm just going to slightly zoom out. No, we'll just zoom back in, it's fine. Um, so I did this yesterday and I did say I was going to work through this book chronologically, mate. I don't know if that's the right word, but page by page. And I started with number one which was the fate so if you've watched the color in chat you will know exactly what i've used on this page and if you haven't why not no only joking um i'm going to tell you anyway so i based a lot of it all of it i think i based it apart from the leaves i've based everything in arteza brush everblend um and then i went over the top with um corinor poly poly color if I just tilt it, you should be able to see the shine on the moon, on the thread of fate, um, on this sort of pool. I use liquid chrome on the pool, so it's Calero watercolours. Uh, it was the rainbow set, the gold on the, sh the thread. I, this is a silver from the moon landing commemorative set. I'm a nerd. I had to buy it. Um, I don't know what colour it is because I threw the box away. And then I wasn't happy with the white border. It just, it made the page almost feel disjointed because you've got these three sort of mythical cosmic beings um, in just a white back background. So off, off camera, I painted it in black acrylic and then I used the Galaxy Glitter Black Hole acrylic over the top, which I am currently obsessed with love all the galaxy glitters i'm probably going to have the full set very soon um but apart from that we've got uh the butterflies they were also calero the bird was calero um this was just so all the hidden objects at, through this whole book i'm just going to paint 
colour gold no matter what I do with the rest of the page and it was um, Jelly Roll metallic gold I've used on there so you can see if I just zoom in we've got this orb thing I just added some white gel pen to give it a highlight there's a dagger there's keys all over the place um yeah so I just coloured them in gold jelly roll next up is going to be this Gaia page the only thing I'm not loving about this book and it's because I'm heavy-handed and very clumsy the perforated edge I keep ripping so I've already ripped the title page out by accident um and that Fates page is also slowly ripping but Gaia is next I think I'm going to black out all of this so she's just kind of like in a spiral and stands out um and hide some of these like shadowy leaves because just get rid of them I think it'll just look more striking if the image is black um so that is the next page in there that I will attempt don't worry I won't do it on colour and chat and put you through the pain of watching me colour another one of them so that was Myth Graphic Odyssey love that got the new one Wonderlust on pre-order then we have Circle of Life um, by Mela Pamini Chapti Panigotu. Best name in the world. Don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, and this was for Colour Me Stress Freeze, sort of big group body colour. And she did the hashtag Colour Me Oop Turtle Free. I've just ripped my tag out. I think it was at the back. Uh, I have shared this on Instagram, so you probably have already seen it, and it is this one here. Um, <clears throat> used quite a lot of different things on this page. I am just going to zoom out ever so slightly. But I've used um, Distress Ink around the outside of the turtle with the water splatter effect. Around the turtle I used, I think it was Dark Indigo Ink Tents because I was not going to colour this in pencil, no way, torturous. Um, inside the turtle and the turtle is Prismacolor. Possibly apart from the sky where we used Posca and Holbein's because I, I can get a nice blend with them. They blend well to nice and they blend well nicely together. Um, what else have you used? I've used some Pentel Jewel. I'll bring that up. You can see that on the fish. So there's some Pentel Jewel on there. There is some... I based the seaweedy plant things in Tombow brush marker and went over in Prismacolor and love it. They were brilliant. They didn't go through the page at all. I did have a slight a sort of bleed through of the water on the ink, but that was it. And to be honest, not bothered. This is a water page. I'm probably going to use the same colour ink around the outside when I get to that anyway. So it's no biggie. I'm not worried about that. I can hide it. Um some white Posca and I did try to keep it sort of well it sounds ridiculous because it's like full of hundreds of different colours but I did try to keep it quite a limited palette um because there's a lot going on so yeah oh there's some there's some Arteza in there as well some Arteza gel pen just on these little I have no idea what they are but just thought I'd make them sparkle a little bit I absolutely loved loved colouring this page i love this book to be honest like every page i've done so far i just love but i love that one i love it i think i've only done three yeah and then that one so i do absolutely love love this book love it so that was circle of life I feel like I've not got many pages done this month, but now that I'm looking, I'm like, wow. I went for full detail this month, didn't I? Then we had the arrival of, not going to say it, but My Journey Around Europe, I think it's called, by Rita Berman. I am obsessed with this book. I love it. I wish I'd coloured some more in it, but I've just not had time. Um, but I did want to do something in it because, as I said in my last colour along, I'm getting a bit sad at the fact that, like, I've got so many books that are sat there with nothing coloured, so I'm making it kind of like, not a resolution, but kind of like, I don't 
know the word. Basically, when a new book arrives, I'm colouring in it. Even if it's one tiny page, I'm colouring in it because then at least it's been coloured in and not sat there. And I've, and I've been thinking about it and I have still got a fair few books that have got no pages coloured. So this month I'm going full Halloween and every page is spooky. Ooh. Um, but I'm actually thinking for November to mainly colour books that haven't been coloured in yet as kind of like my theme. That limits me to what I can colour. But maybe I get something coloured in every book I've not coloured in, I can then go back to my good old faithfuls. So all I did, I did, I think, yeah, all I did was <clears throat> this little lamp post page. Um, I just sat and done it in one go, I think. I'll zoom in slightly just so you can see it. Um, I sat and did it in one go. I this didn't really work out. Don't know what I was going for. I'm not. I'm not a lover. The spine <laughs> made me leave this like blue line, but I'll get over it. I'd used Distress Ink and I don't know whether I was just being a bit tentative or I just couldn't be bothered, I'm not sure. But it just wasn't as vibrant as I expected it. But actually, it, I'm, I'm kind of growing to love it because now I added these white dots, it's kind of like it's snowing and the, the lamp is glowing. So we could sort of say it's a snowy misty day, maybe. Um, but then the actual lamp post itself is all done. In fact, the whole page. Yeah, the whole page, actually. Apart from, can you see the glitter on the street lights? Not the street sign. Oh, and the bird. That's our teaser. This is Pentel Jewel. That's our teaser. So the big writing is our teaser and then the smaller signs are pencil jewel. The whole lamp post is ink tents. I think I might have called this because I'd completed my set and I wanted to use them. That's maybe why I did it. Um but yeah, the whole lamp post is ink tents, the back the sort of floor is ink tents, the signs are ink tents, and I wanted it quite like sort of wash like wishy-washy as if they've been painted um and then this little it's reminded me of washi tape for it was cute that is ink tents too so just a cute little page i wanted to get done because like i say it makes me sad that so many of my books are sat there not colored in so when i get a new book i'm going to try and color in it the exception to that will be, I've just got Millie Murata's new one, but I'm only colouring spooky pages, so she'll have to wait till November, but it's all good. So that was nice. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, I could probably do a page in this this month, although it's technically not spooky, I could make it autumn-y. Like this could look cute as an autumn page, maybe. That's an idea. Um, We'll see, because obviously from my What's In My Colouring Bag this month, I have huge plans, probably impossible plans, <laughs> but we shall see. So that was a, a lovely little speedy, quick page to do. And I say, it's just to get something coloured in that book. Love this page. So cute. So that's a lovely, lovely book. Um, and it's my journey around or through Europe. Can't remember. Next. We have this beautiful book, beautiful book. Um, again, I just wanted to colour in it because it was a, it arrived and I thought I need to colour in this book because it's not sitting there all month um, with nothing in it. So I did a speedy, speedy page. It literally took me probably an hour um, and it was this one. The wand. So let me just zoom out. Oh, I always zoom in. Let me zoom out ever so slightly so you can see it. It was super, super speedy because I ink tensed the wand. I ink tensed everything illustration wise. Um, I'm absolutely loving, loving using ink tents for gold. 
so easy. Um, it, I think it's possibly the amber pencil. All I used is one colour. And I think for gold, whereas I would use about five pencils, if you can't be bothered and you're just in it and you want to colour something quick, boom. I think, I'm sure it's amber, amber ink tents. Um, but the whole wand is ink tents. The stars are ink tents with um, Art Spirits. I think it's Furry Wing. I just wanted to add a little bit of a sparkle. You see. Um, not sure what I was doing here. Oh, I think I was... Yeah, I was going to white outline all the bubbles and then clearly couldn't be bothered. So I'll have to do that. Um, and then the background I absolutely love. Let me see if I can catch it in the in the light. Can you see it? So I'll zoom it in. We've got it was maybe three distress ink colours. This is seedless preserves. This might be kitsch flamingo and then spun sugar. Um I thought purple. Purple. Purple's magical, is it not? Um, so I did that, blended them all out, water splattered, um, and I don't think, yeah, it didn't go through at all, one tiny splotch, but I'll probably just think pants over it, it doesn't bother me, it's going through, I'll, I'll find a way to fix it, whether it's acrylic, um, so I did that, then I water splattered, all over that, then I used silver acrylic ink, the Windsor and Newton one. I've got a full calligraphy set of the Windsor and Newton inks and you get the silver and gold. So splattered it in that. And then if you look very, very carefully, can you see here? Let me see if I can try and catch it in the light. It's not that, there, it's probably better. It's not that shimmery, but that is the um, Jackson Art handmade shimmer watercolor <clears throat> in the pink. I thought it was on my desk, but it's not. Um, I just splattered that all over it as well. So that was a really, really quick, cute little page. And as I say, I've, I've, I've got a page coloured in it, so I feel better. But I have got, as you know from my what I'm colouring this month, quite a few post-its in here to be doing. Might start one of them today. So that was Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. Love this series. Um, and that moves us nicely onto this. Um, Tales from the Forest Kingdom, which is actually my most coloured book this month. You can see there are tags galore in it. I don't know why, I just was on a roll with it. I was really, really loving working in it. I do love this book. It might be my favourite, to be honest. So, first off I did, and this was just to have a bit of a play, I did this, and it looks a hot, holy mess, but let me explain what I did. So, the mushrooms are colour soft, the stone is colour soft, then the background, this is Distress Oxide in Twisted Citron, this green, and then I used two... I used an orange and then a red. I can't for the life of me remember what colour I used. Then I used some Distress Ink. Let me just go, let me get it. I used the Distress Mica Stain in Jack O' Lantern. So I got the two Halloween sets. I'm probably going to get the two Christmas sets. Um, because I have been using them quite a lot for this, for just splatters. Now, I know it doesn't technically go, it's a luminous orange, well, it's not a luminous orange, but it's metallic orange over. And if you look closely, you can kind of see where I've covered it with paper, so I need to think of a better way than that. But I'm not that mad about it splatting onto the illustration, to be honest. This was just a play and a little bit of fun. But... I found that spraying this into a palette and dipping a brush and flicking it from a brush is much easier to control than spraying it from this because these are powerful little like sprays. They literally go everywhere. Um, 
just use this. So it's quite hard if I spray it if I spray it like that, that's quite hard to obviously control where it goes. Um, so I found spraying it in a palette, dipping a brush in and flicking the brush is much easier. And you probably use less because that is a lot. So obviously these are for card making, but you can add some beautiful little um, touches to your page with them so i just wanted to have a play with that that's why i did that page then i thought why am i here i've never done a nameplate page so i thought let's do it so on this one i used ink tent and again i think it works really well for gold that's just that one color again on all of this gold beading on the crown one ink tent Ink tents the wood, the leaves, calligraphy my name in a pencil touch, and then good old faithful distress background. I used three, I think. Um, one was quite a new green, I can't remember what it was called. It oh, I think it's mauve lawn. This darker green is mauve lawn, and then water splattered, as you can see. And then I used, so the technique that I just said, spraying the mica stain, and I used the green one, which I think is called maybe Bubbling Cauldron. I think the purple is Hocus Pocus. So it's Bubbling Cauldron, and I just flicked it on with a paintbrush. But can you see that you get a much, you don't get a concentrated blast like that. But that's all, that's dry already, but look how, well, it's not dry already, but it nearly is how metallic it is um so i spread this into a palette picked it up with a paintbrush and flicked it all over and i think it's just a far better like distribution you can see that how metallic it is it's really nice i'm definitely going to get the, the holiday set that I've, I've got the full palette then um next was a buddy color that i did with sam ways coloring my instagram pal um <clears throat> and we decided i let sam pick it sam had just received the, this book um and he picked this page for us to do as a buddy which i'm glad because i'll be honest i probably would never have picked this page to color i love it i absolutely love it i just don't think i would have picked it but now that i've done it i absolutely love it um everything apart from these mushrooms is prismacolor i just thought i'd get my prisms out this month and give them a good going over um these are the mush the purple mushrooms i actually bought the black widow cobra set because they were on offer and i'm slowly building up that black widow set i'll probably get the scorpion today because they're on offer as well these were three purples from that set and I actually blended beautifully together. I didn't use anything. I just blended blended them in with the, the lightest colour. Um, bit of white gel pen on the windows. And then the background is um, De Amer Deco Americana acrylic in forest green. I knew straight away this was going to have an acrylic background. It was, I'm not going to lie, torturous doing all this. But I did it, persevered. Then I probably should have done it a little bit neater because you can see it's a bit, it's a bit of a mess. Um, I went over the top with Amer Deco Americana Galaxy Glitter Acrylic and this is Champagne. I really want to say Champagne Supernova because it's Oasis, an Oasis song, but I don't think it's called that, but it's definitely Champagne something. Um, so I am now going to name it Champagne Supernova, but it is a gorgeous glitter acrylic of silver and gold um probably if i had the green one i'd have used the green one but i just thought yeah i did buy a green metallic um americana to do some kind of like swoopy swiping thing but it just didn't go the, the green that i'd picked was too blue so it just didn't it didn't fit right but that's i do quite like that page it's nice 
I would never have coloured it. I also watched Erica Elm Colours, um, like Alphabet series, and it was H Houses, and she gave me the idea of using quite a neutral house and then adding colour through the, the bits and bobs. So I used, I think it was Putty Beige, but I did use a green. I used a green to add all this shadow in first and then blended it out with the putty putty beige and I love that. Probably use that again. Um but yeah, I really really enjoyed that. And then my final page or pages, you'll have seen it on Instagram. Um it is my absolute favorite. This is my favorite pages of the month. This is my favorite page. But I did this page first and I did it all in ink tents again. I'm going to have to get another amber pencil because I've used it to death. Um, I ink tensed everything. White gel penned. Um, if you look closely, there's some Posca, metallic Posca on the leaves. And I'll tell you why. If you look here... I dropped my brush when I was doing the black acrylic. I dropped my brush right on the leaf and put black all over it. I couldn't bother trying to hide that. So I just coloured over it in metallic posca and then just carried on on every leaf. So I'm fine with that. These are our teaser gel pens on the stars. Black acrylic on the background and then Windsor & Newton gold acrylic ink from the calligraphy set just splattered all over it. So I was obsessed with that and I kept, but I kept looking at him while I was colouring it thinking, gosh, I can't wait to colour that, I can't wait to colour that. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. So I'd got a little bit of black acrylic on here and I thought, I'll just acrylic the whole background. So I acrylic acrylic the whole background. I coloured off this extra frame that went all the way around just to get rid of it, to be honest. It was beautiful and I coloured it all in metallic green and then I thought mm, I can't be bothered going around that with a brush so I just painted over. Then I used just some Hobbycraft gold, no grey, I was looking at the gold one on my desk, it was this but in grey um, for this background and again I used Galaxy Glitter in... It's not the Icy Comet one, it's the other one. I can't remember what it's called, but the glitter has got like random colours in it. So can you see there, there's like blues and greens and golds. I can't remember what that one was called, but I, I glittered over that. Then I used my polychromos for the skin, which I always use the same like three colours. And I, I do think that this is probably the best skin I've ever done. I think I need to maybe take the step to darken the shadows but definitely the best skin I've done to date then everything else was the day went light fast and I can honestly honestly say I fell in love with these pencils doing this page I wasn't I loved them I thought they were a really good pencil they should be for the price but doing this page I fell in love with them and it was all this hair I think I used four of the like aqua turquoise pencils and they just blended together absolutely beautiful and I kind of like finished them was like wow I did that like that was like my first wow page I don't know why because it's quite simple but I absolutely loved it and I just carried on the gold ink flicking splattering from the other page so I kind of turned it into a double page spread so you could maybe imagine that this is a portrait on the wall maybe and there's some decorations hanging down. Um, the only other thing I used was the same green gold metallic Posca just to do this sort of frame. Um, that's my favourite page of the month. So that's all I got done really. It seems like a lot now that I think about it just because they were so, so detailed. Um, thank you. I've how many books, let me see how many books I got through. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got through six books this month. Um, I'm quite happy with that. The first month back in school and everything. So I managed to keep up the colouring, which is good. Um, 
please let me know in the comment what your favourite picture is. I would be very interested to know. I'm just going to say thank you once again for everyone who watches, subscribes and comments. I fully appreciate it. I will see you all in the next colouring chat. Thanks for watching. Bye.